Hello, everybody. How have you been today? I hope you all fine. Okay, everyone. My name is Bun Lane. I'm from New Generation Pedagogical Research Center. Today, I'm gonna be your teacher. Okay, everyone. Today, we will learn about the types of noun. Okay, everyone. Before starting our new lessons, I want to I want you to prepare books pens in order to take note what you learn and then you also pay attention to the lessons are you ready let's start together okay everyone before go to new lessons i want to ask you about the lesson you have learned about noun let's tell me what is noun i give you five seconds to think about noun noun refer to the persons, animal, things, plan, or place. All right, everyone, could you tell me what type of noun do you know? Let tell me what type of noun do you know? Okay, there's a lot of type of noun, such as common noun, proper noun, collective noun, countable noun and countable noun and other okay everyone today we just only learn about the two type of nouns so we learn about common noun and proper noun all right everyone before going to learn about common noun and proper noun let me tell you about the objective of the lessons today okay everyone at the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify common noun and proper noun through the exercise correctly. Okay, everyone? And you also uh, practice the use of common noun and proper noun. Anyway, you also distinguish the differences between common noun and proper noun also. But, jang mo nang chol te kan merien thamay, lukru som បងហាងពីកោបំណងនៃមេរៀននេះបន្ទាប់ពីប្អូនរៀនមេរៀននេះជាប់ប្អូនអាចកំណត់បានថាតើអវ័យជាកម្មណោនតើអវ័យជាប
Okay, common noun. Okay, everyone. When you heard about the word common noun, please think about the word that are used for persons, place, that are used for animal and also things. So we can say that common noun is the word used for persons, used for animal, used for things, or used for place. Okay, everyone, after you learn about common noun already, I have three examples for you to do all together. Okay, everyone, now please look at the first example. My friend is a teacher. Her student don't like crocodile. The seller told me how to use smartphone. Okay, everyone, now please look at the red word. The red word, they are represent for common noun. Why they represent for common noun? Now, please look at the, the first example. My friend is a teacher. Now, please look at the word friends and the word teacher. What is friends? Friend used for what? How about the teacher? The teacher used for what? Okay, friend used for persons and teacher used for persons. So they are common nouns. Okay, everyone now please look at another example. Her student don't like crocodile. Okay, everyone now please look at the red word students and crocodile. What is student? Students used for people, right? How about crocodile? Crocodile used for Use for animal okay if they are used for person or people or they are used for animal so they are common noun right okay everyone now please look at the third one the seller told me how to use smartphone the seller told me how to use smartphone okay everyone what is seller seller is person how about smartphone what is smartphone? Smartphone is thing, right? So, seller used for person and smartphone used for thing. So, they are common nouns. Okay, everyone, after you learn common noun already, now please look at the second part, which is about proper noun. Okay, everyone, before going to learn about proper noun, please tell me, what is proper noun? Okay, I do not tell you right now. Now, before you study this, I want to show you only one thing. Now, please look at the big word. It is about name, right? Okay, I will show you about name. Why I show you about name? Okay, now, please look at another one. Another one is uppercase. Okay, when you study about proper noun, you may be clear about the name and the uppercase. What is uppercase? Uppercase is a big letter of the sentence or the big letter of the word, we can say uppercase. Okay, everyone, when you learn about proper noun, you, you need to think about uh, the name and you need to think about uppercase. Okay, everyone, if you want to be clear about proper noun, now please look at the example for proper noun altogether. Okay, everyone, now please look at the name of the people or the name of the persons. When when you see the name of the person or the name of the people so it is exactly that you know that it is proper noun now please look look at the example the name of the person such as john uh, such as darud or such as nita they are the name of the of the people so it is we, so we call proper noun okay everyone now please look at another one okay the name of the country or the name of the city example such as cambodia or cambodian cambodia is the name of the country and cambodian is the nationality okay another one uh, please look at uh, another one is the name of the city or the name of the building the name of the landmark the place or we can say the place another specific name Okay, such as Phnom Penh, Angkor Wat, or Batum Park. So, so, they are the specific name of the city, the specific name of the building, or the landmark. When you know about the name, it will be proper noun. Okay, everyone, another example. The day of the week, or the month of the year, we could call it proper noun also, such as 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or something. Another ones are yeah, January, February, March, April to December. So when you saw something which is represent about the day of the week or the month of the year, they are also proper noun. Another one is the name of the river or the name of the lake, the name of the mountain or the name of the seas. So it, it will tell you about the specific name of this place we call proper noun. Examples such as Mekong. Mekong it is the, the name of the river, right? How about Tun Lai Sap? What is Tun Lai Sap? Tun Lai Sap is also the name of the river also in Cambodia. Another one, it is Mount Oral. What is Mount Oral? Mount Oral, it is the name of the mountains in Cambodia, right? Oral is the name of the, uh, the, uh, the mountain, which is the highest one in Cambodia. Okay, another one is the Pacific Oceans. What is the Pacific Ocean? It is the name, the name of the sea or we can we can say the oceans okay now please look at an, another one the name of the festival or the name of the special event or we can say holiday so when you heard about the name of that special event such as the holiday we could call it proper noun also okay example such as uh, such as Mother Day or Khmer New Year or Pyongyang Day. So they are the name of the holiday, the name of the specific event or the special event, another festival. It is so, so they are proper noun. Okay, everyone, after you learn about a proper noun, let's tell me what is proper noun. Okay, everyone, now please look at the graph. Please look at the graph that I show you. Uh, the first one you need to think about name and another one you need to think about uh, uppercase, right? That I have shown you uh, at the first of a uh, proper noun part. Okay, now please look at this graph. You saw the word name, you saw the word people or persons or place or things. Okay, when you saw this one, you, sorry, you can give the definition of proper noun clearly. Okay, everyone. After you see this graph, I hope you can give me the, uh, the definition of a uh, proper noun. Okay, everyone, a uh, proper noun, a name for particular people, places, or things. Anyway, it always begins with uppercase, or we can say big letter. When the name that I uh, tell you about the uh, particular person or people or particular places or particular things it will be proper noun anyway or especially it always begin with uppercase in the sentence okay everyone after you learn about proper noun i have one example for you to do exercise in order to be clear what is proper noun okay everyone here is the example for you now please read it all together one la is a teacher who lives in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. On Sunday of January last year, he visited the Great Wall of China. Okay, everyone. Now, after you read this statement, let's find the red word. The red word which is a uh, represent about a uh, proper noun. Okay, everyone. Now, please look at uh, one now. Uh, let's tell me what is wanna. Wanna represent what? Wanna show you about the name of the per person, right? How about Phnom Penh? Phnom Penh represent about uh, the name of the place, right? And also begin with a uh, capital letter. How about Cambodia? What is Cambodia? Okay, Cambodia is the name of the country, right? How about Sunday? What is Sunday? Sunday it is the the day of the week, right? How about January? January is the month of the year. How about another another one? Last one, the Great Wall of China. What what is it? It is. What is it? It is the landmark or the place that everyone can go or to visit in China. Okay, it is. We could, we could say it is landmark or it is the place for people to visit there. Okay, here the, the example that uh, you can identify uh, the proper noun. 
Okay, everyone, after you learn about the first part, which is about common noun, second part, which is about proper noun. After you learn both of these, I have, I have the example for you to do the exercise, which is about uh, common noun and also proper noun. Okay, now everyone, please look at the instruction before you do the exercise. Okay, everyone. Uh, please underline the common noun and proper noun. Okay, everyone now please note that uh, One line, you know one line. One line is common noun and the one line is common noun and the two line are for proper noun. Okay, now please Please remember one line is common noun two line are proper nouns Okay, there are five statements for you to underline in order to find out which one is common noun which one is proper noun okay everyone now please look at the first one and then find out what is common noun and what is proper noun okay everyone the first one who is your teacher now please please underline which one is common noun which one is proper noun or we can say only one sentence has only one uh, a common noun or proper noun just just think about it okay everyone teacher is common noun why teacher is common noun because teacher used for persons right okay everyone just only one common noun in this statement now please look at the second statement Tida has a lovely cat okay now please find out common noun and proper noun here okay the first one is Tida right okay Tida Tida is what? Okay, Tida is proper, proper noun. Okay, why Tida is proper noun? Because Tida it is uh, show you, it show you about the name of the persons, right? Okay. Anyway, Tida begin with capital let, letter. Now another one is cat. Cat is what? Cat is common noun. Why? Cat is common noun because cat, cat used for for animal. Okay, very good. So Tida is proper noun, cat is common noun. Another one, number three is Chef and Lin are going to the beach. Okay, everyone now please look at common noun. Please find common noun and proper noun. The first one is Chef. Why Chef? What is Chef? Chef is proper, proper noun because Chef show you about the particular name of the person how about another one is lin okay lin also proper noun because lin the name show you about the name of particular persons okay another one is beach what is big big is common noun why why big is common noun big is common noun because big just for places Okay, everyone, now please look at example number four. I am Cambodian. Now, let's tell me. Okay, what, what is common noun? What is a proper noun or just only one? Okay, Cambodian. Okay, everyone, Cambodian is, Cambodian is proper noun. Why? Cambodian is proper noun. Because Cambodian told you about the particular name of their nationality. Okay, everyone, now please look at the last one. Okay, everyone, now please look at the example number five. Many students enjoy the movie Romeo and Juliet. Okay, now please find common noun and proper noun. Okay, everyone, now the first one is students, right? Okay, what is student? Student is com common noun because student used for, used for people, right? Students. Student used for people. Another one is what? Okay, another one is movie. What is movie? Movie is common noun. Why? Movie is common noun because movie used for used for thing, right? It is the movie that you can watch. Okay, everyone. Now please look at another one. Romeo. What is Romeo? Okay, Romeo is proper noun why it is proper noun because it told you about the name of the character in the movie okay the last one is juliet what is juliet juliet is proper proper noun because juliet 
told you about the particular name of the character in the movie. Okay, everyone, after you do the exercise, I hope you can identify between common noun and proper noun. Yes, everyone, today we have learned about common noun and proper noun. And let's tell me about what you have learned today. Okay, the first one, please tell me what is common noun? I give you five seconds to think or pause this video and then think. I give you five seconds. What is common noun? Okay. Okay, thank you everyone. Common noun is the word used for persons, animal, place, and things. Okay, very good everyone. So, common noun used for persons, animal, place, and things. How about another? Another one is proper noun. What is proper noun? Okay, again, I give you five seconds again, and then pause this video and think and answer my question. Okay, what is proper noun? Okay, everyone, proper noun are names for particular people, particular place, particular things. Okay, everyone. Anyway, proper noun begin with capital letter. Okay, everyone, that's it for our lessons today. And the last one, I have the exercise for you to do at home. It is uh, homework for you. And then you can go through this link and then you can do the exercise. Okay, everyone, thank you for your paying attention to my lesson today. And I hope to see you next video or also next lesson. Thank you. Goodbye.